Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. This is just a real quick video of our trip to Point Pleasant for the Mothman Festival. We had never been. It's been going on for a couple years now. Of course, you know, during COVID they didn't um, have anything. But if y'all aren't familiar with the Mothman, in the 60s there was a bridge that collapsed and right before the bridge had collapsed there had been several sightings of a Mothman-like creature and they believed that the two were tied together and he was possibly warning people about it. There have been several other reports of um, bridges collapsing and then there being a Mothman creature so that, that you know, he's possibly warning their, you know, several different theories and whatnot. But anyway, this whole town dedicates a festival to the Mothman. I'm not really sure what all they were doing here. It was almost like a giant cosplay for adults, it seemed like. But we, you know, we'd, we'd been wanting to go for a couple years now. This hotel is supposed to be incredibly haunted, um, which is unrelated to the Mothman. And I still like to come down here and stay sometime. Not when it's this busy. Um, Y'all are going to see the statue here in a minute. There was a line all the way down the road just to get a picture taken with this, which we've got several already with me and my kids. My oldest son did a social studies project on the Mothman and then several other West Virginia myths and legends. But there's a cute little museum down here and, you know, it's just a little funky, neat festival thing. We walked from one end to the other. Um, it was a lot more crowded than I thought it would be, which, I mean, that's good, you know. It brings people to the area because this town is normally, like, just, like, no pun intended, like, it's a ghost town. There's not a lot here. There's, you know, I don't really think there's much industry or anything, so. But there's a lot of neat little funky shops, and as you can see, a lot of people in, in costume. There are a lot more than you see on this film, but I don't know, you know why we didn't get too much of it. I was a little uncomfortable with the crowd. I didn't quite, that's why my husband's filming. And this is me in all my glory because my husband was being goofy with the camera, but y'all can see my outfit for the day. So like I said, this was just a lot of people here being silly and goofy, a lot of shops, a lot of fun. You know, it's almost like the kickstart of Halloween, I guess. My son was terrified of this scarecrow. I guess it's just not, not his cup of tea. But thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. 